sir almost we did postmortem on overloading and overriding sir let me summarize the differences comparison between overloading and overriding right have a look once sir comparison between overloading and overriding sir with respect to which property we have to compare overloading and overriding observe carefully sir the first property method names sir in overloading method names must be ah huh? can you please tell in overloading method names must be same must be same same in overriding also method names must be same remember that must be same whether it is the overloading or overriding method names must be same second point argument types are you getting argument types do you know in overloading argument types must be different sir have you remembered have you remembered method names must be same but argument types must be different must be different at least the order at least the order order like sir what you about overriding in overriding argument types must be same are you getting here must be must be same including order must be same including order so it should be compulsory sir must be same so do you know method of names and argument types is also known as method signature are you getting in overloading method signature must be different because of different argument types but in overriding must be same must be same like this right sir next the private final static methods are you getting private final static method private methods can be overloaded static methods can be overloaded final methods can be overloaded are you getting no restrictions in overloading sir can be overloaded no problem at all private methods can be overloaded final methods can be overloaded static methods can be overloaded somewhere in our while discussing main method overloading concept applicable for main method somewhere we discussed right about this one that's why overloading wise no restrictions but uh, what about overriding private private methods are not visible to the child classes that's why overriding is not applicable final methods overriding is not applicable static method if both the parent and child class methods are static that is called method of hiding but not overriding that's why sir for private method final method static methods overriding such a type of concept not applicable that's why cannot be cannot be overridden are you getting cannot be overridden remember next the written types right written type so do you know in overloading in overloading written type no restrictions you can take same written type different written type no problem at all no restrictions but in the case of overriding must be same written types must be same until 1.4 version but from 1.5 version onwards covariant written types also allowed are you getting covariant written types also allowed from 1.5 version onwards covariant written types also allowed right okay well next uh, throws keyword are you getting sir if the parent method throw something child method throw something something like uh, we covered we covered in detail in the last videos right sir throws throws class what is the meaning of throws in overloading overloading a no restrictions no restrictions okay no restriction sir what you about overriding what you about overriding yes okay if a child class method throws any checked exception compulsory parent class method should throw the same checked exception or its a parent okay if if child class method if a child class method throws any checked exception any checked exception any checked exception compulsory compulsory parent class method compulsory parent class method should throw should throw the same checked exception 
should throw the same the same checkered exception should throw the same checkered exception our parent our parent so if for child class method throw any checkered exception compulsory parent class method should throw the same checkered exception our parent okay what about the unchecked exception no restrictions remember that sir next the method resolution sir in overloading method resolution is always takes care by ha huh? method resolution is always takes care by compiler compiler based on compiler based on reference type compiler based on reference type sir method resolution always takes care by jvm if it is the overriding always takes care by jvm based on run time object jvm based on run time object getting right next uh, other names sir what are various other names are there sometimes overloading is also known as compiled time polymorphism are you getting compiled time polymorphism or static polymorphism or early binding method of binding is going to be happen yet compile time only that's why early binding so overloading is considered as yes, compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism or early binding okay well sir what about overriding overriding is also known as run time polymorphism run time polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism or dynamic dynamic polymorphism or late binding are you getting or late binding that's all so if any person is asking what is the difference between overloading and overriding sir happily you can tell this example this diagram huh? so so that definitely is going to feel comfortable right are you are you in the position to understand but here one small observation you have to take care what is that is here observe in overloading in overloading only one rule we have to check overloading is the very simple overloading we are not required to check multiple rules only one rule method the names must be same argument types must be different in overloading method names must be same argument types must be different except that all the remaining things are not required to worry but in overriding everything we have to check method names must be same next argument types must be same next uh, uh, do you know return types must be same covariant return type throws keyword access modifier like uh, there are several restrictions are available remember but uh, in overloading no such type of restrictions everyone can able to understand right that's all friends